What are you doing? Oscar, what are you doing? What is going on, guys? Today just may be the day we get this dirty bitch right here, Raptor Line. It's been a long time coming. I know you've been hearing me talk about it in every single video. And it's beautiful out. It's currently about 9, 15, 9, 20. This watch isn't really accurate. And I've been up all night, but I really don't give a shit. I'm, I'm ecstatic to finally just, I'm, I'm ready to be just, to just be done with this thing. Uh, so I'm gonna go inside, get some post-workout because I just hit the gym. It's Monday, International Chest Day. If you're not hitting chest, you're not living life properly. So I'm gonna go inside, get something to eat, drink a protein shake, and I'm gonna check the forecast. And if it looks like it's gonna hold up for the rest of today and in tomorrow because it needs 24 hours to cure, there's a pretty good chance that she is gonna get wrapped her line today. I'm excited as shit about it. You guys should be too because it's probably what you subscribed to me for to see my stupid ass Raptor line this bitch. So if you're watching this intro to this video, it means that we got it done. All right, guys. It is currently one o'clock. This sucks. I'm not going to lie. Tip, if you do this, do it with a friend. Do it with your dad. Do it with your uncle. Just do it with someone. Don't do this by yourself. This sucks ass. Like, I'm running on zero hours of sleep right now, and all this tedious taping and cutting paper for the windows and shit is making my blood boil. So, make sure you got good sleep. Make sure you do it with someone else. But so far, this is what I have. So, I'll check back with you in a little bit, see what progress I've made. Well, she's all taped up. Uh, I'm gonna put some body filler in a couple areas and then I'm gonna get ready to spray it. Finally. This has been a pain in the ass. Alright guys. This is it. There she is. She's done. There's my dog taking a shit. Don't mind him. Now, I didn't I didn't really get anything of me actually painting it, and which I do apologize for, but I was on a time crunch, and I didn't have any sleep yesterday. I was running on zero hours of sleep. I started this at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I was out here spraying until 10, and I still didn't get everything. There, there he is taking a piss. I still didn't get everything. I had to come back out here and touch up this morning because the hood was still bleeding white through. And I'll show you guys how to mix it and stuff because I have an area right here that got fucked up and it's driving me insane. So I'm gonna mix up the last bottle. All of this was seven bottles and it came out pretty good. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the last one and do some touch up. I'm probably going to spray the doors thicker just in case they get dinged in a parking lot or something so it doesn't get fucked up. So, yeah, here's the finished product. I still have tape on the back window and I still need to get the rear bumper on. If you have a Silverado or Sierra in this body style and you've ever pulled the bumper, you know how big of a pain in the ass it is to get it back on. I'm just going to throw it out there. And if you don't, and if you're planning on pulling your bumper, get a fucking roll pan because you do not want to put this bitch back on. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm doing some touch up and mixing the last bottle. All right guys, so uh, I told you I'd show you how to mix it and stuff. Um, online they talk about where you should fill it and blah, 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 blah. But this is the hardener and this kit that I got, the hardener comes in this tin can and it gives you a measuring cup and it says to mix eight ounces per bottle. So dump that shit in there, put the cap on and then basically all you do is you shake it for two minutes. So I'll get back with you when I get it on the sprayer. All right, I got it all hooked up. So. I have, my, I have my compressor set to 165 PSI, or not 165, 165, and as you can see it gets pretty good coverage. Uh, the texture, texture is pretty good on it. 
which is why I have it set to 65. Watch out, Oscar. Go. Go. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover that spot up. And I'm just going to spray my door more just because someone dings it or something. The hardest part about doing this outside in Florida is battling all the bugs. I'm holding it closer than I should be, but the only reason I'm doing that is because I took all my masking off and I don't want to get shit on my brand new mirrors or get it on my windows. So that's the only reason I'm spraying closely. When you're spraying, you want to, I'd say probably about 10 inches. And you just keep spraying. I coated it pretty thick the first time and it came out pretty good and it, it took quite a few passes to get it done. But overall, it covered pretty well. Don't mind my gas roller door. Yes, I'm gonna buy a new one. That's just temporary. Get some texture on that bitch. So, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, I have it set to 65 PSI, as you can see. It's sitting at 80, but when I pull the trigger, it drops to 65. So that's where it's sitting. Produces a pretty good texture. From what I hear, that's what most people prefer is 65. But then again, it's, it's all up to you. That's why I have this cardboard here. I had an idea that I wanted to set it to 65, so I started out at 65 and I like the texture put out. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. It's simple, it's all in your prep. Things definitely could have gone more smoothly in this process. It, my rear bumper fell off because it was hanging halfway off to get behind it and took the backup camera with it. Split that wire right off and there's no room. There's, there's, there's no room to splice it back in down here. So that kind of sucks. I'll probably have to buy a new backup camera, but this whatever. If you'd like to see a video of me putting a new backup camera in, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you want to see that kind of stuff. And I'll show you how it's done. So you guys take care. Have a great day. Alright guys. Well, I think she's pretty much done. Uh, there's one thing that I'm doing to it. Probably, I don't know if I'll make a video on it. If you guys want to. If you guys want to see it, leave a comment down below. Um, I might make a video on stripping the paint off the front bumper. Because... It was spray painted black and it's chipping off. So I'm gonna strip it down to the chrome. So everything is staying chrome and the front bumper is gonna be chrome again. So if you guys wanna see me stripping the front bumper, let me know. I'll make a video on me stripping the paint off the front bumper. But if you like the video, if you like how my truck turned out, let me know in the comments, give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more content like this on this truck if you remember what it looked like before you'll know this is a huge improvement if not i'll leave a picture in the video so you new viewers can see what the truck looked like before but overall i'm extremely satisfied with the way this turned out and there's more stuff to come on this truck so stay tuned subscribe if you would like to see this truck get more mods I thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.